with our topic is to access Google Expressive as JSON. If you already have Google account, you can simply visit the website www.doc.google.com where we will create a sheet. After creating the sheet, we will add some record and we will save that sheet and get the public URL which is required. Here is the macro URL. In this macro URL, there is a parameter name, ID, and sheet. ID is the ID of the sheet, and sheet means name of the sheet. Actually, the role of this URL is simply accessing live record from Google Express it to JSON format. You know, you just need to hit this in your Google browser. Open the Google Spreadsheet. Click on Sheet. Blank Sheet. I'm just going to create a Sheet. ID. I'm just entering some dummy data. This is the heading. Now this is the the ID, the name. It is uh, renamed the spreadsheet. Mm, I am renaming it to as FRUITL tools. Save. Now it is saying enter the name of address, but we will not need this. We have just entered the we have added some dummy data now click on right top button which is share after clicking on that it is uh, in this pop-up you can see there is another link get shared but shareable link get shareable link click on that here we get the public URL from this URL, we can get the ID of the sheet. Anybody have this URL can access it directly. Simply paste. Now I need the macro URL. Yes, I will replace the sheet ID and sheet name. ID is after D slash. This is the ID. And replace the ID for the name of the seat is here is the name this seat. One seat can have multiple seats. By default, it is only one, so I am using this one. This is seat one. Our macro is ready. Simply hit in the browser. Here is the JSON. This is the live JSON that is directly coming from this spreadsheet. There is two called ID1, ID2, name Apple Banana. Sorry, name. There is two record orange. 100 apple 200 in this json file we have to record orange and apple with price 120 200 in the same 
json file orange price 100 name apple price 200 now add one more report id 3 banana banana 300 now refresh the mac now you can see this is your library each time you refresh the data json new key is generated this is the access token so wherever you want to use this json simply use the macro url and we use the macro url to add it let me show you an example this is my website timelecture.com in this there is an offer page in offer page i am actually reading this type of json i have offer spreadsheet which i am accessing as a json after reading the json i have added some css to make the page professional Nobody will believe that this is this report is coming from Google spreadsheet. For the report, you can find the macro URL and website URL below the YouTube video in description box along with the detailed information. That's it for today. I will come up with a new topic. Till then, goodbye. Have a great day.